Hello everyone and welcome to another Vector Twist tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you my tips and tricks on how to use the Blend tool and create tubular effects. So let's get started. The Blend tool is a really powerful tool and you can create some neat effects with it, especially if you apply it to text. Here we're going to apply a blend to a text called Neon. Usually you can just blend two shapes together. Depending what color you give them, they will blend from one color to the next. Here I would like to actually show you how you can use three colors. So I have three circles, each with a different gradient, from a pink to a yellow to a blue. Now I'm going to select all of those shapes, I'm going to Object, Blend, and then choose Make. Now I've blended those shapes together, but we have to change some settings with the Blend tool. So over here in the toolbar is the Blend tool, which is double click it, and we get the Blend options. Usually it's set to smooth color. So let's switch this to specific steps. Let's turn on the preview and let's set the steps to 400. Toggle the preview on and off so you can see what's happening. Now it's blending it smoothly. Click OK. And now we're ready to go to apply it to the text. Since I have not a continuous shape here, we need to create copies. We're going to apply the blend effect to our letters. So since I have one, two, three, four, five shapes, I need to create five copies. Now select your blended shape, hold the shift key and select the first letter and then go back to object, blend and down here you're going to choose replace spine. This will apply the blended shape to the letter we've chosen. Now that was pretty simple, wasn't it? So let's continue. I'm going to choose the blended shape again, hold the shift key, select the next part and repeat this step. So back to blend, replace spine. Now we're going to speed it up a little bit and I'll apply all of the blended shapes to my text. Now I've applied all of the blended shapes to my letters, but as you can see here, this is not working properly. For the O, it didn't go all the way around. There's an easy way to fix this. Just select the shape with the blend applied, choose the pen tool and then add extra points onto the line. And now we fixed all of it. And here's a quick tubular effect applied to a text. Now I would like to show you if you use the same text and just have a little bit of a different path, what different effects you can get. Now here's our blended shape again. Here I created the text called neon in a continuous line. It is one line continuously and then overlapped. So I select my text, the blended shape, Back to Object, Blend, Replace Spine. So here you have another effect. The difference is that the line I have created to outline the letters is one continuous line. It never gets broken, it just continues. And just because it was so much fun, let's apply this also to a script font. So here you can see our text again. I simply do this with the pen tool. You can use the brush tool, you can also use the pencil tool. This is up to you. Again, it's one continuous line. We'll select it, grab our blended shape, back to object, blend, and choose replace spine. And here we go. Now, if you want to play around with the colors, you can easily select the shape, go to object, blend, and then reverse the spine, which will flip the colors. Instead of starting from pink, now it starts from a blue. And it also reverses how the letters are going to be colored. Now let's switch that back. And one more thing I would like to show you under Object Blend, you can also choose Reverse Front to Back. Now since the blended shape is applied to a new path and it is still a live tool, you can change the color easily. You can just simply with the Direct Selection tool, select the circles, fill with the color and switch it. If you do not want gradients and you want to work with solid color, just apply a solid color or Activate the free transform tool and then rotate your shape with the gradient applied and you can see how it changes the coloring along the path of our text. At the same time, you can also change the gradient how it falls. Now, for example, if you move it just around a little bit and change the gradient with the gradient annotator, you can see how the color blends differently into your text. And this is it. So remember, we started with three circles filled with three different gradient colors 
and then just use the blend tool under object, blend and make. Remember here we have the blend tool in the toolbar and if you double click it you'll always get the blend options pop-up window and you can easily change the spacing from specified steps to smooth color or specified distance. I hope you liked the tips on the plan tool and if so please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out vectortwist.com as well for more tips, tricks and tutorials. I'll see you next time.